Today we're going to show you one item that sold for a, over a hundred dollars today. Stick around. Good morning, guys. Today is day 25 of my soy pod death to death pile challenge thank you for joining me the, my name is eric the obx picker i am checking in with you guys today with another what sold video and just letting you know how things are progressing with the death to death pile so we'll jump on in to what sold uh, this would be monday's sales and we are showing you this video. It'll be coming out today, Tuesday. So first item we got going out actually came from my death pile. I actually got this back on a return a while back and I'd forgotten about it. And I ended up putting it back in because uh, I was digging through some boxes and found it in there. And this item sold for $49.99 plus shipping. This is P90X. Um, it is the original package and everything the reason i'd gotten a return in the past is in the very back of this thing and this is something to keep an eye on i don't know if you can read the lettering there it says there is additional footage and it's sold separately um, that's required for this uh, the guy who bought it even though in my listing i did show how many discs was here uh, this particular set does have nine discs he said he only reason he bought it is he thought it was complete so i made sure and updated that listing uh, with a lot better and this time around it actually sold for more anyway so actually that guy probably did me a favor by sending it back uh, the next item we have going out is this marvel legends uh, this is the ronin build a figure series the silver surfer uh, from 2007 i've talked once before about how smart marvel is uh, with how they sell action figures. When they came out with that whole Build-A-Figure thing, um, that was very ingenious on their end. So now, in order to make one of the Build-A-Figure characters, you have to buy sometimes eight or nine separate figures at $20 a piece to make one character. And if you find that character and it, he's older, they're actually pretty valuable. Most of them going anywhere from five, uh, 50 to a hundred plus dollars. Some of them even more, uh, the rarer ones. I sold a Galacticus, if you ever find that one, uh, for $125 by himself. So if you look at, at even loose, like that's loose. If they were, you know, if you had all the characters, a series, I sold the Juggernaut series, I think for like 240 or something like that. So Guys, it is something to look at on the builder figure. If sometimes too, if you see the parts of builder figures, those sell well. Um, I sold a Hulk Buster, like the Iron Man Hulk. Um, I sold a leg for twenty dollars. So that's how it works. If you see the action figure stuff laying around, you see a box that has parts and pieces in it. Uh, might be something to look into. It's not just parts and pieces. It's stuff that sells. Uh, the next item we have up is this Mortal Kombat. Um, this is actually sealed a PS2 game, sealed in the pack. This sold for $23 free ship. So PS2 game, even though it is greatest hits, it still sold for pretty good money. Um, the next item we have going out is this Retail Arbitrage. This is, I picked these up for $0.15 cent a piece. This is the Dermamend Alpha it's the hydroxy therapy um so this sold for 12.09 uh free ship but like i said 15 cent into that thing so it's a good return on those and i have quite a bit of them uh the next item we got going out is this kodak instamatic m80 this is an eight millimeter film projector it is pretty heavy um, this thing sold that came out of my death pile as well actually came out of my antique booth um, because I had put those things in because those cameras are a little heavy and I've got several of the 
eight millimeter cameras. And so I had all them over there, kind of like a little camera section, but that's the first one to sell out of them. I just listed this a couple days ago. So sold for $55 free shipping. It's probably gonna cost me about 12 bucks to ship. And I actually picked that projector up um, for $4 from a thrift store. So pretty good return on that. Next item we got going out is this Sector, Sector 9 skateboards. Um, this is an old uh, trucker hat. It's not old, old, but Sector 9 is like the longboard style skateboards. So this kind of has that retro look to it. But uh, this is going out for $12 plus shipping. And then the last item I have actually came in. I went ahead and shipped one of these out yesterday. Uh, this is an item that sold for over a hundred dollars and I picked that thing up for a couple bucks at our local thrift because nobody knew what it was, including myself. I actually looked at this thing two or three times just sitting over there and I was like, I don't, I think it's some kind of filter or something. I just didn't look at it real close. So if you saw this sitting in the store, you'd be like, what the heck is that? It looks like kind of corduroy. Well, what it is. And after I looked it up, I didn't recognize the brand, Kivik, if you see this, Kivik. So if you look closely, what this is, is this is an Ikea slip cover for like their sectional chairs. Um, and on the other end, when I looked at, saw this, I was like, this might have a little value. This thing actually sold for $108 plus shipping. So the buyer's all in for about $135. And I shipped one of these out yesterday. I still have this one. So I wanted to show it to you today. Um, man, those are the kind of flips that, man, get you real excited. Uh, when you find the X marks the spot, like in my logo, if you're out doing treasure hunting and you, you dig and you hear that thunk, like you just hit the treasure trove, yeah, that's the stuff that keeps you going. Um, so I've had those things listed for a little while, uh, probably about maybe a month and a half, but one finally sold. And so as you can see, that's a good flip, a good sale. So what it is, as a reminder for me too, is look it up, man. If you're in the thrift store and you're not sure what it is, look it up. Because more than likely, if you're not sure what it is, is A, it's probably underpriced at the thrift store which is you know sometimes like we always talk about sometimes the things they think are valuable aren't valuable the things they think aren't valuable are really valuable so this thing like the lady was like yeah you can get them for four bucks for both of them because they've been sitting there no one's picking them up ikea there's not an ikea i think the closest one for us is about two hours away so not really a super popular thing in our area, but it is in other places. So that Ikea slipcover, Kivik, if you see the brand, pick it up, scan it, look at it. It's probably worth something. So that's what I had today in sales, guys. Um, like I told you yesterday, I did ship some things out out of today's sales yesterday, but yesterday's sales were good, um, 280 some dollars. I think it's what the, the grand total was on it. So I'll give you a definite here in a second. The, I don't mind, actually, man, it was $340.68 on Monday. So another great day of eBay sales for me. So um, I encourage you guys, I'll show you where I'm at on the death pile. On the death pile, we are death to the death pile day 25 five more days to go so i've listed 235 items and sold 26 of that so still hanging over the 10 percent mark so guys i mean i encourage you if you do have some things that aren't listed now is a great time to do so and it will sell and honestly you know nobody knows exactly how the ebay algorithm works but I can know this, like the simple math of it is the more you list, the more you sell. And the days that I take off and don't list as much, man, the next couple of days I don't sell as much. But if I start listing 
heavy. Like I listed there's 20 plus items that day and the two days behind it, I got, I got big sales numbers. So I don't know how it works, but I can tell you from personal experience, the more I list, the more I sell. So guys, thanks for watching. I do want to make mention of one more time. Uh, actually you'll probably hear it daily is our live show on Friday nights at eight o'clock Eastern with my co-host, uh, the Dapper Tiger and Midwest Bargains, Sam and Jacob will be with me. We're also, uh, having guests in Cat the Nurse Flipper. So guys, if you're not subscribed to those guys' channels, I encourage you to do so. And if you are already here watching about reselling, man, join us on Friday night at eight. And if you have any questions for any of us, uh, please go ahead and uh, start sending them out and I'll make sure to include them in the show and we'll give you, make mention of who they came from. So you can drop them in any of my comments or put them on Instagram for any one of us guys. And we'll make sure that we give you a, I guess a little shout out and say, you know, this is where the question came from. So if you guys are here as a reseller, I do wish you good luck out there reselling. Hopefully you have good finds and great flips and we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.